Welcome back to at Mr. Marino Science, where science comes first. In this episode, we're going to learn about Sir Isaac Newton. That's right. We're going to do three exciting demonstrations showing his... My three laws of motion. Three laws of motion. But first, we're going to have a little history lesson about Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton was born in 1643. Newton was born in England. Isaac Newton worked on his parents' farm. <coughs> Sir Isaac Newton worked for the Royal Mint. Sir Isaac Newton was in charge of finding counterfeit money, or funny money. As a young boy, Isaac Newton was taken out of school to work on his family's farm. But the school realized he was just too smart, so he was put back in school. Well, 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 wasn't that educational? Thank you for all of that information on Sir Isaac Newton, scholars. <laughs> Moving on to Newton's three laws of motion. His first law of motion states that an object will remain at rest unless acted upon by an opposing force. So, Newton's first law states that these 10 pins will not move unless acted upon by an opposing force. That's right, folks, these pins aren't moving forever. 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 Also, it means if an object is moving, it will move forever unless something stops it. In other words, the bowling ball will roll forever. 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 Newton's second law of motion states that there is a connection between mass and acceleration and force in the equation force equals mass times acceleration. In other words, if an object has more mass, it's going to be more difficult to accelerate that object. <laughs> Observe the empty shopping cart of science traveling, accelerating with the force provided by these two strong young scientists. <laughs> According to Newton's second law, this shopping cart will be easy to maneuver with low mass. However, if the shopping cart had more mass, it's going to be more difficult to get it to accelerate. <laughs> now watch as you observe the next part in Newton's third law. We're going to double the mass of the shopping cart by adding another 100 kilograms. About 100 kilograms. That means our scientists need to double the force to match the acceleration of the empty shopping cart. Now that we have doubled the mass of the shopping cart, they must double their force to accelerate the shopping cart as they did before. Hey! Ah. Yo! <laughs> All right, we're at Newton's third law, which states for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We're going to see these pins react to this bowling ball. Well then, wasn't that quite exciting? I'd like to thank all of my scholars for helping me, and thank you for learning about Newton's three laws. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!